Good day folks, today I've got something really spectacular to show you guys, I hope you guys enjoy it as much. So what am I going to call this one? Well, I think it's the battle of the 25 and a half grainers, because I've got 25 grain slugs and I've got 26 grain slugs and I've got slugs in between. But there's one specific slug that I want to absolutely show you guys today. Alright, so what I've got in the lineup, first and foremost, is not a slug. These are the JSB uh, redesigns in 25.39 grain and the reason I'm going to show you guys that one first is because I want to guys show you guys the expansion of a pallet versus a slug so today is again all about expansion testing I've got the H&N 25 grainers here I've got the JSB knockouts here I've got my javelins here now the last time this baby's expanded the best and then I've got a new kid on the block these are inferno slugs but not just any Inferno slugs. Let me show you guys quickly. Okay, very well wrapped. Oh, come on, where's the beginning? Ah, there we go. Right, so the Inferno slugs, these guys are built for expansion. And the reasoning behind that, and they come in a nice little packet like that, is the actual design of this. So these are the 25 grainers. Previously I shot with the 23 grainers, but this little babies, and I'll give you guys a close-up, has got a red ball in front, and they're absolutely built for destruction. They explode on, on impact, they don't expand on impact, they explode, explode, let me repeat that, explode on impact. Alright, so, quite interesting, I've seen these guys being hunted before some, with some of my YouTube colleagues shooting mossies and whatever at close range with these guys but today i'm going to do the ultimate water expansion test i've got five 2.25 liter plastic bottles in front filled with water and i'm going to give you guys some nice close-ups on that slow-mo if i can and show you guys what the expansion does all right so without further ado let's jump into this oh by the way you can watch the previous results i'll post the link down for you guys why I did expansion in water and what happened exactly there. Please go and have a look at the video. It will give you a good indication of what we're going to do today. Let's have some fun. The good news is I found four of the slugs. I can actually take photos and show you how they look. This is going to be nice. Right, I've got my GoPro set up in front. I'm just going to quickly double check my zero and then I'm going to run these redesigns at 955 feet per second. Let's go for this. Oh no, I blew the bottle off the stand again. Ah! Luckily I've got a spare. Let's go and look at the damage. Next up, we have the 25 grain H&N slugs, 0.22, running also at around about 965 feet a second. Money shot, here we go. And my bottle goes flying again. That's after I taped it to the table, so probably need some more tape to keep it stable. Folks, that was interesting. Great, so next up, we're gonna shoot the JSB knockouts, 25.39 grain. <sighs> Hopefully my bottle will stay on the stand this time. Let's go for it. Let's go for the money shot. <laughs> bye bye bottle, bye bye.
it is time for the javelins 26 grainers to one sevens let's see what they do <laughs> i've taped that bottle so many times now to the table and every single time the impact and the expansion is of such a nature that all the energy is transferred into the bottle and they just fly off the table love it love it just hope the gopro in the front can keep up with that action Right, so this is what all the hype is about. The Inferno Rex Tip Cup Base, 25.39 grain or 25.4 grain, sorry. But this one, I think this one is special. Let's have a go. Uh, not even all the extra tape I put on, the, on that bottle could stop it. It just went back over in, end over back. Vur, 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 vur. <laughs> Managed to get all four slugs back. First up is the H&N 25 grainer. Not too bad expansion. Some lead left at the back for it to carry through. But what's quite nice is this is the first bottle shot that I actually recuperated the H&N slug. The previous one penetrated straight through. Second on the list are the knockouts. Also in 25.39 grain. I wasn't too pleased with the expansion on the knockouts although it did its job very well and it stayed within the bottle third up were the javelins now the javelins expanded a little bit more than any of the other slugs as you can see there's a nice round base there in the back it's got enough power still to carry straight on through the target and it flattened a little bit more this is due to the soft lead the guys use at javelin and then the surprise baby of the day look at that I've got my orange ball back. The tip did not get lost. Right, so expansion on this thing, nice. Penetration, quite nice. Still a lot of lead left. But there were small particles that actually exploded into the bottle. Now, I couldn't find those small particles. I hope that the camera shows it in slow motion. So, yeah, interesting experiment. Quite nice. Time to wrap this up. If you look at the different photos, the JSBs didn't dump a lot of energy into the target. Same can be said about the h and Although the h and performed a little bit better, it still penetrated way too far. The JSBs did a lot better, dumped the, some of the energy initially and carried on, but wow, did the Javelins exceed itself again, as well as the Rex Stips. Both of these slugs showed that all the energy was dumped right at impact and there wasn't a lot of tunneling after that. Looking at the final two slugs, you need to decide which one, in your opinion, expanded the most and dumped most of his energy right at impact. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and tell your friends about me. Thank you. That's all, folks.